Hello everyone. This video demonstrates the planning of the posterior interosseous artery flap for a dorsum of hand defect. Now let us assume that this is a dorsum of hand defect for which we are planning the posterior interosseous artery flap. Now like for all flaps the planning begins with marking of the important anatomical landmarks. So we are marking the lateral epicondyle and the distal radio ulnar joint. The line joining the lateral epicondyle and the distal radio ulnar joint marks the axis of the posterior interosseous artery. It is on this axis that our flap is going to be based. Now around 2.5 to 3 centimeters proximal to the wrist crease on this axis.